Alan Lee took down Event 4 for over $200,000. Now he's at back-to-back -back final tables. Can he make it back-to-back -back wins? Among those standing in his way, the one, the only, the poker brat himself, White Magic, 16-time bracelet champion Phil Helmuth, going for his first ever win at the U.S. Poker Open. It isn't July 4th, but fireworks are about to go off. Welcome back to Las Vegas and the Poker Go studio to be exact. This is event number five of the 2023 U.S. Poker Open. And it's all about one man today, Mr. Phil Helmuth, headlining this 10K No Limit Hold'em final table as we take you inside poker's most prestigious place to play. Jeff Platt and Brent Hanks are on the call on PokerGo.com. My name is Remco Rinkema. Donnie Peters alongside me as always to bring you coverage here on YouTube for free. We'll be here with you until we have a winner in today's event. And there, of course, is the star of the show. Zero wins so far on the PGT, but today he's going to have a great chance to erase that zero and turn it into a one because Helmuth has a great stack coming into this final table. Here's a quick look at the 2023 USPO standings. 50K up top for the eventual winner after the conclusion of this 10 event series. Ren Lin on top, Nacho Barbero currently in second place. And here's a look at Jeremy Osmus, the chip leader heading into this final table with already five wins on the PGT. It's gonna be a fantastic final table. Here's a look at the chip counts presented by Global Poker. Helmuth in the middle of the pack, 1.8 million. Nothing to stress about for him and much more chips than we're used to seeing him with as this man, of course, is the genius with the short stack. Aram Oganyan is gonna need some of that genius. He is our current short stack. And Alan Lee is back for more after winning yesterday's PLO event. So he can do a whole lot of business as far as the overall standings go and leaping up those in order to give himself a chance to win that 60 pound Gold Eagle trophy along with the 50K cash bonus. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's have some fun today. Let's enjoy the show because man, so. no, no, knowing what we see usually from Wilhelmuth, it could be a wild one. Donnie Peters, what are you anticipating based off of what you have seen from Helmuth over the last few days on the floor? Seems like he's pretty locked in. Haven't really seen any blow-ups. I know the first two events that he played, he didn't last too long in, but he's certainly making this event number five count. It must be the new Poker Girl hoodie that we gave him. <laughs> right? I mean, that's that's what's changed. It's unbelievably fun to have Helmuth at the final table. You never know what to expect, but you know you can expect something. <laughs> and right now he's getting in the mix with a good old 6-4 suited. Got involved with 9-4 offsuit yesterday. Yeah. Well, I'm just, oh, you know, just all right, all right. <laughs> I'm calling it. If I'm calling it. It's the day of Helmuth. <laughs> just flopping a straight on the very first hand at this final table. Unfortunately, neither of his opponents have anything to play right now. I appreciate everyone for chiming in here on our YouTube stream. Like I said before, we're here live until there's a winner, so it's going to be quite a fun afternoon. Let us know where you're watching from. Do it right now. Maybe give us a little weather update. Maybe you're having a beverage or two. Weather's changing in Vegas. It's getting better. It is getting better, finally. <laughs> it took forever. I'm hoping to get some value here by checking, but none of his opponents catching anything, and nobody has a diamond. Darren Elias is going to take a stab at it, so it seems. Looks like 300K to me. Stacks are relatively shallow as it stands right now. Three players with fewer than 20 bigs. Four Especially compared to what we've seen the past couple of days. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the top four stacks, helmet included, between 30 and 39 big blinds, so... Interesting situation here. Helmut makes the call. We go to the river card. A million in the middle. Elias with 0% equity. Could a massive bluff give him the pot? But Helmut, Helmut is not going to let him get there. He's going to put out a block bet of 450000 Donnie. How do you feel about that one? I think he should have went a little bit smaller, but I do agree that he should take the lead here and try and get some value. 
As we can see, Elias completely whiffed on this one. But of course, if he had a king, this might have been a real tough decision. I mean, is Elias really going to get get frisky here? No, no. He's going to give it up. <coughs> oh, the no show from Helmuth. Hey, how long till we can see the hand? <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that one for sure right away. About an hour, sir. Exactly. We are on a little bit of a delay, but this is happening right now. New New Year, new Phil. The six weeks six week plan that he talked about: unlimited fruits and vegetables, limited whole grains and seeds, no dairy and animal products. Result: he lost 17 pounds. His cholesterol is down by 40 percent, and. On top of all that, most importantly, make this USPO final table. I'm sorry, but I want the old fill back. I want roast beef sandwiches. <laughs> I mean, he ate a burger the other day. I hey, watched him. Hey, man. <laughs> that's, keto, that's keto these days. Tell me he went to bed at 8 a.m. Unbelievable. What a specimen. What a specimen. You guys and girls in the chat have to agree to the roast beef sandwich moment was the poker moment of the year last year very late at night it's a wsop i don't know i thought he had a king i thought he called jesse lonis D does jesse lonis have a rap album dropping soon that i don't know about don't we get six time extensions that's right about six people oh shit <laughs> oh yeah gotta last one more to get yeah. that that boost what a scam oh Ganyan. I think picked up quite a few fans on his last final table appearance. Very talkative kid. Why not get six? Fuck. I mean, good three bet here. King seven off, decent Warner. candidate. And there it is. Look at it. Look at Phil. Wow. Has Phil been in the solar streets? Uh, I mean, what? Dare new I year, new Phil. We forgot that we left off the one that said, you know, studying the solvers. Dare, dare, <laughs> I, dare I say, say zoom zoom mode. I mean, this makes the ace jack for Darren Elias look extremely smaller than it is. We can obviously see that Helmuth is stepping out a bit here from what we would expect from Phil. I mean, you and I both know that Phil Helmuth is not a three betting man. He is the call and the small bet and the this and the that. He has his own little style. Three betting, not a common thing for him. And there you go. Elias, ace, jack, see you later. Wolf doesn't even think about it. Ace, nine, straight into the muck. Helmut on a tear here to oh start yeah. this final table. And guess what? He's our chip leader. Let's, let's give this man some applause in the chat. Appreciate everyone for chiming in. If you are here for the Helmut Show, you came to the right place. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. We'll do some giveaways today on the show as well. Still approaching 400,000 YouTube subscribers. We could still get there. If you guys all subscribe today, we'll do our first giveaway for a free annual subscription to Poker Go. When we hit 777 likes, let's uh, make it a Vegas themed one this time. I like it. Action on Oganyan with King Nine suited. Was it the Poker Go Cup where he. Uh, he had his his sort of breakout on TV for us. Or was it last year? I think it was last year. I forget USPO. which event. It was USPO last year, huh? Yeah. Yeah, when he had made a couple final tables. He had that one where he went up against Eric Seidel. He had the one with the queen four off. He went ballistic against Alex Fox and ended up winning against the two nines. I believe that was all USPO stuff. Already has a cash this year, a seventh place finish in event number three. So he has some points with like coming into the series. Did get a third place finish at the Pokemon Cup earlier this year. Finishing behind Alex Foxen and Orpen Kisakshioglu. Or sorry, that's Aaron. I was talking about Helmut. My fault. Oh, sorry. No, I'm thinking about Oganyan. Yeah, Oganyan was Pokemon Cup this year. Did very well. Kind of out of nowhere. Yeah. I mean. He knows what I, I think after that Pokemon Cup, paper. he went down to Florida, had some success down there at a seminal series. So. I mean, it was on the paper, so maybe if I played a hand, I would answer this. <laughs> Ryan coming in with a hard hitting question in the chat. Says, Donnie, what's the last great pizza you've had? It's like if it's like yesterday, like level one, hand one, somebody asked me, what did you start with? Pizza Rock. Just, like, pizza Rock. At Green Valley? <laughs> Are yeah. you kidding me? Um, I think 
Or just a pepperoni pizza? I mean, it's, right. you know, cheese it's visible. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, for people who are unfamiliar. I'm too high. Donnie's oh. back on the meat. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> go ahead. How long were you? Got your <laughs> chicken in my <laughs> bag here. Uh... <laughs> Six years? Six years being vegetarian. Six years pretty much exactly to the day. We talked about it during our Poker Girl Cup streams, which was pretty much the six-year thing. Although, <laughs> I've been dipping my toes back into the you meat area for meat and chicken for, I don't know, a month now. It up, I might go bro, back. I'm not sure how my body feels. Wow. I mean, but I also think that I need to give it more than a month, maybe like three months, and then I'll explore. So come dub SOP time. I guess I'll have another update no, have for you that. that we can talk about. We can see like, how I, I go there. Yeah, you said, hey, Phil, don't do it. Of course, I wouldn't. It doesn't mean I wouldn't, you know. I'll tell you what, it's definitely cheaper. Whatever you ask like. somebody for. You're doing something. Thank you for asking. Didn't Osmus and Helmuth have some Twitter beef? Osmus called yeah, out Helmuth. Yeah, they asked me about you, and I said... Going at Chino Reed that one that one series. Oh, I mean, then they asked me about the song. Math. <laughs> <laughs> about the what? The song. Oh, the song. And I get high. Da, 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 da. <laughs> you should have went home and listened to it last night so you had it perfected. <laughs> I've used that song before. <laughs> How am I gonna chip her mood here at the start of the final table after Only winning good song two hands? Afro Man ever came out with. Crazy. <laughs> Ogallion with his second straight raise. Is not high. He still plays every hand, but he's not high. <laughs> <laughs> Osmus considering defending here against Oganyan. Does make the call to go heads up to the flop. Osmus started today the as the chip leader. Has been since eclipsed by Mr. Helmy. Osmus kind of quiet on the PGT this year overall. <laughs> Top pair for both players. Those raggedy aces. Always the kinds of hands that can get you into trouble on boards like this, but Osmus, of course, has well evolved past the level of trapping himself. However, we're probably going to see at least a turn card here. Seeing all the Philhelmuth fans in the chat, let us let us know what your your greatest Philhelmuth moment is. The the, the, the Philhelmuth moment you love the most. There are so many to choose from. Let's let's reminisce a little bit as we see this hand go to the turn. Some chop outs here for Osmus, but this is largely leaning into Oganyan's direction. That king might slow down Oganyan, which in turn then might allow him to get some value on the river from Osmus. Oh, we got some sub submissions coming in. Roast beef on top. I can dodge bullets, baby. Helmets versus person match. That, of course, available on our YouTube channel. Oganyan does check. Seven on the river. It doesn't help Osmus. Playing that pair of kings. The blow versus the Queen 10 honey is being mentioned. Calvin says, I like I like it when Phil crashed the car. <laughs> <laughs> In the Rio parking lot, baby. An enormous parking lot. And how we've managed to drive his NASCAR into a light post. 275 here on the, or 175 here on the river from Osmus. Small bet. Trying to control how much he puts in on the river. A little bit of a blocking bet. I'm guessing we're going to see Ganyan at least call. Okay. 
does make the call. Osmus loses quite a few chips here against Oganyan after defending from the big blind. Small ace spells trouble here for our former chip leader. Oganyan chipping up nicely out of the danger zone. Alan Lee now our short stack after winning yesterday's PLO event. He now down to just 11 big blinds. Here's a look at our event five final table. Mr. Helmuth, of course, the oldest player, the most experienced player, and almost the winningest as well at this table. Looking at the 2022 calendar year, Osmus had him outchipped by just a little bit. Jesse Lonas, by the way, also a strong year with over a million in earnings, and he is our youngest player at the table right now. If you're just tuning in, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. We're going to give away an annual PokeGo subscription when we hit 777 likes. And guess what? If you are an annual subscriber, by June 6th, you'll be entered in a raffle to win a dream seat into our season-ending PGT Championship event, which has a million dollar prize pool. It's a free roll, 500K up top. We're gonna send three PokeGo subscribers to that event. We're gonna do three separate raffles among our annual subscribers. Just, just picture yourself flying to Las Vegas knowing you have a ticket in hand to play in a tournament that gives out a million bucks. Pretty so sick. sick. Pretty sick, yes, pretty sick. Raise and take there for Mr. <coughs> Elias. Former lifeguard in South Carolina. Wow. For Darren Elias. I would have never guessed that. No. Would have never guessed that. For WPT Tells, I for sure would have guessed that. <laughs> you probably were at some of those. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Is there anyone in the chat not rooting for Helmuth? I'd like to know, actually. Maybe we have some friends and family in the chat. Maybe some pe maybe some people anti-sweating. Can't get that song out of my head. <coughs> I don't know what that last part was. What was, was there a chicken involved? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keep singing. I'm running hot every time you sing it. Action on Jesse Lonis coming in for a raise with King Jack offsuit. Aces for Osmus. All right, let's get some chips back. Here we go. Osmus might benefit from the position that the table of these two, cutoff versus button. Keith Kemper in the chat, really matter of fact, saying, I am not rooting for Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for declaring that. I don't want anyone to get confused. Local Legends says, I'm not rooting for Helmuth because I want to see him rage. See, I think that's the, there's the two camps. There's the one camp that wants to see Helmuth win, and there's the other camp that wants to see Helmuth rage. Right. I think you, if you want to see him rage, you should probably want to see him rage heads up. Oh, get yeah. All, get as close as possible, <laughs> and then it all comes crumbling down. Oh, here's a good suggestion in the chat. Let's see. Um, where is it? Where did it go? Billy Tormi says, rooting for a heads up between him and Oganyan. <laughs> oh, gosh. O Oganyan would do everything <laughs> in his power to get under <laughs> Phil's skin, and it would be great. Lonis here taking a minute to think this over with the King Jack off. All right, he does kick him in. Osmus picking up a little bit of chips there with the three bet with the two aces. You know what I'm jealous of in relation to Jeremy Osmus? That, that he can wear a light blue tight-fitting t-shirt and not get sweat stains sitting at a televised teacher table. <laughs> Here's a look at Jeremy Osmus. Last year, event number five, a little flashback here. He won that event outlasting Chris Brewer, Ren Lin, Aliyam Servich, Nick Petrangelo, and David Peters. Ren Lin, by the way, our current clubhouse leader for the 2023 USBO title. Chris Brewer, also in the mix, has already made a final table. And Osmus, of course, would love to win this one you, right? to give himself yeah. a chance yeah. as yeah. well. Is it a deuce chop or something? I can chop. <laughs> kept moving all the board pairs the Last gets in here with the Jack 10 suited. <coughs> Pretty much everyone's a favorite fun. hand. A hey, man, yeah, you're a little lucky. Uh, a little update here for those who are just tuning in. The payouts are as follows. 44 k for 7th place, all the way up to $211,000 for 1st. Can't play any like differently. Would I have like 7 bigs or something when I was? I don't remember what the big one was. was 9.2, but who's counting? I had way less than that. I had, way I had 220. 225. 
At, uh, at what, 25k big one? No, at 30? Definitely like 40 when we made the bo When did we make the money? It was like 40 already, right? When we made the money? Oh, I don't remember. You can already hear money. Money Mr. Daniel like Legrano laughing in the background money. as event six is now officially yeah. underway. I'm guessing bubble. we're back to Omaha. 15k PLO, Renlin was in charge of the pre-game flips. Oh. Uh, they, they did a 1k flip and then a 2k oh. flip. It was 40 because I, when I shifted Just for blasting the money in there. You know what they guess said? Who won, guess who won uh, the 2k yeah, flip? Ren Lin. Oh, yeah. Nacho. Oh. Of course. <laughs> the year of Nacho. <laughs> year Eric Danis, if you're listening, <laughs> just put right it on right his right. hand in the mob. Like <laughs> no <laughs> gamble, no future, though. <laughs> what are you supposed to do with seven Michael days? Braun asking, what do we need to do to be entered for a ticket? Well, when, you, you need to be an annual subscriber to Poker Go, but I'm giving away a free annual sub when we hit 777 likes on today's video. Yeah, you can head to pgt.com slash dream dash seat for more information no one ever called on exactly how you can be entered to <laughs> win the page. Why. And we're going to keep <laughs> that page populated with was high. all of the Dream Seat promotions high. throughout the year. Call your cards aren't good enough. Da, 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 da. So bookmark the all page, right. check it out. I've taken that to its end. <laughs> Did you enjoy the show? Okay. Fair. Here's a look at Jesse Lona's bio sheet from Little, way, little Falls, New York. Break, about, okay. 25th into 2021 break? main event. Yeah. Won a bracelet last year. No breaks, man. He's currently 12th on the, the GPI ranking. Break last time. <laughs> Very solid player. Why does it say none? It's such a... Played with really Jesse a bit recently at the win. Very, very good play. I was going to say, did he... Tough cookie. Did he push you around? Working. Um, when he had... He ended up losing chips rather quickly, but when in the little bit that he had chips, I mean, he's just he's tough to play against. Has a very good buddy. feel for the yeah. game overall. Still Openly admitted, you know, he oh, might not be in the solver streets, but he understands oh, that, you know, amongst his friends, yeah. having those conversations, he understands all the theories, how to play, etc. Four better fool. Six hundred thousand. Shit, they died. One of you, I don't shit yet. Wolfair with the real hand. Ace 10 suited. Short on chips, only 12 big blinds. I know, yeah. See how he wants to play it. Sean Perry did this at the last table, yeah, final table. I was at. I feel like. I'm going to with Ace 9 off. Right? Ace 8 suited. So Wolf made it 600, leaving himself with two big blinds behind. Doesn't look like he's going to get any action. Probably happy to just pick up the blinds and antis here. Of course. That's <laughs> <coughs> the last final table I got. Sam Bill Bradley says, I love watching Helmies lose. Yeah, yeah, but in order for you to Sam watch Perry. him lose, he needs Sam to win a lot first. Like Otherwise, you won't be able to watch him <laughs> because he'll be out before the final <laughs> table. So like it's kind of a catch 22, isn't it? And carry three ships between back down. George wow. Wolf, mostly a cash game player. <laughs> I thought he was mostly an Omaha player. He was out here for One the PGT the PLO matches. series. Okay. But, I mean, he, there's he a lot of PLO down. games that run regularly well, at Aria, so I got, maybe I got he frequents those one streets. One. He tied or something. They chopped it. But good to see him out here battling. Yeah. With only two cards. That's the one where uh, Foxman made me a YouTube viral. Yeah, right. Me. I saw that. <laughs> Literally, I was like walking through casinos and people were like, hey, you're the guy that just got bluffed by Alex. Yeah, uh, back at Aria. I was in Florida walking through a casino and some guy literally stopped and laughed at me. Pretty good. Oh, Ganyan showing the power of YouTube as he went viral for getting his socks bluffed off by Alex Foxen. Osmus with a raise and take with Ace-9 suited. Did you know him before that? The guy that laughed at me? No, Foxen. Oh, yeah. I didn't know if he didn't know you. He was just big time here. No, he, he wasn't. <laughs> We're just doing all the bio studio? sheets right now. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, originally from Colorado. I see. Yeah. Five yeah. WSOP yeah. bracelets. Five. That was awesome. And yeah. all won yeah. yeah. in, yeah. I guess, the new yeah. age, yeah. the new era, yeah. which makes yeah. it even yeah. more yeah. impressive. Yeah. Dan Legranu yeah. has not yeah. won a bracelet in <laughs> Vegas, <laughs> and in that meantime, Osmus won five. One of those bracelets that Osmus won. Yes. Negranu was third. 
Helmuth was second. Osmus ended up coming out on top in that 25k PLO event. A wild, wild three-handed play. That's where um, that's uh, that's archived on PokerGrow.com. If you're a subscriber, you can head on over there and check that out. But that was absolutely bananas. <laughs> that's the uh, final table where Negranu kicked over his own chair <laughs> yeah. in frustration. Yeah, that was a, that was a crazy match for sure. Base five from Elias, good enough to raise. Scouse says, shout out from Liverpool, UK. What's up, Liverpool? How are things over there? Osmus picking up ace, king suited. Could be a tricky spot here for Elias. I'm, I'm guessing mean, three bet <laughs> coming. I was going to say, knowing how poker works these days with these aggressive moves, we could definitely see Elias here get creative. Yeah, Elias starting the same with 31 big blinds. Osmus starting with 37. Cutoff versus a big blind action. Not sure given the stacks of Lee. Also Wolf being short, Lee down to just eight big blinds if Elias is going to continue with this hand. But also don't think it's out of the question for him to just rip this. Yep. I mean, I think Elias knows that Osmus knows this spot, has studied this spot, etc. So, I mean, it's unfortunate that Osmus has a hand this time, right, if you're Elias. But 100%. he doesn't have to have a hand. <laughs> he could be having the King 7 off like we just saw Helmut do. Wow. Wow, there, there it is. It is. <laughs> wow, exactly as we discussed, Darren Elias moves well, all Os in. Osmus isn't, I mean, he has to call, but he's not <laughs> exactly thrilled about it. Osmus calls Darren Elias at risk with Ace 5 suited. Huge pot here, too. 3.8 million in the middle. Donnie, is GTO Wizards going to approve of this shove by Elias? I think, given the two players, yes. Uh, I think he's at risk. I mean, I mean these, they're very close in chips. I mean, if yeah. Osmus loses his hand, he's only got 355k behind. Wow. ICM is for poor people. Darren Elias, third in chips. Osmus, second in chips. These two guys clashing with tons of chips in the middle here. Let's see a flop. Oh, beautiful start there with the four <laughs> clubs, but what came behind it, not so good. A four and a king. Osmus now 94% to win this hand. A three of clubs, deuce of clubs, that would be... Deuce of clubs, too much to ask for. Exactly right. Seven of diamonds. Deuce of clubs. <laughs> <laughs> Turn card, uh, ten of clubs. Ten All right. Clubs. All it's right. never easy. Yeah, his reaction every time he gets that out. Okay. <laughs> it's never easy. Elias, eight outs. There's also two two-siders out there. He needs to hit his flush, or he'll be eliminated in seventh place. River card. It is the eight of spades. It was black, but it was no club. Darren Elias, the first player to hit the rail from this final table. And Jeremy Osmus takes a commanding chip lead as Elias collects $44,000 for his seventh place finish. And both George Wolf and Alan Lee are going to be extremely pleased to just re receive a little bit of a pay bump here with the elimination of Darren Elias. Wow. Seem like a big hand. People I mean, in the it. chat, <laughs> how do you five. feel? How do you feel about that ace five shove? Yeah, <laughs> Let us know. Oh, I thought I thought he has aces. Oh. He, aces. Oh. he did. He did. Yeah, ace king suited. Ace suited. Same yeah. as ace. Yeah. yeah. Your read was right. So is ace five suited. That's, you guys were right Thanks too. Yeah, six six too. <laughs> Darren had a big hand. There. I wanted a three, but I had king five off. <laughs> I just want to say thank you for the six time extensions I'm about to receive. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah, I needed this. I would have, I would have taken more There's time. About a 9K on the pay hand. jump. Well, the second you guys can see there on the screen. Everyone take, guaranteed $52,800. No, no, I would have thought about that. And I guess that was when, when, he, when you didn't answer. There's the 60 pound gold like eagle trophy video. that awaits the overall like don't answer. USBO I, champion. I, I didn't know like kill like 700. <laughs> I mean, I've got to tell you, I didn't think you were going to win that hand. You basically had the same yeah, stack because of my I almost didn't. There. I, not, I thought the what river it was black. I thought it was a What did I have? I Sorry, Fresh. I mean, you'll see it. I mean, after yeah, the flop, I lost my hand. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, if you bust someone, you get their time bank chips? I, had, I, had had lost <laughs> them I thought Osmus was, was collecting more time bank chips. He was. They got six more when they got to six players. Oh, right. Yeah. It would be a fun wrinkle, though. If you bust a player, do you get their time bank chips? Get a shove. That was my spot. Lost. 
lost opportunity. We're now down to the final six. I mean, I and closing in on our first giveaway for an annual subscription uh, to Poker Go. When we hit 777 likes on the video, <coughs> we're giving away a free annual sub to Poker Go. Only for YouTube subscribers. So make sure you're a YouTube subscriber to enter the raffle. We love, we love sharing with you guys. Awesome now. 38% of the chips in play with that hand. Wow. That is a great spot to be in. But I think you even mm. saw it on Osmus's face. I mean, when he made the call. It has to call, but, you know, you're not exactly <laughs> wanting to throw in 95% of your chips, as Where you would it? say, on it with a drawing hand. Okay. Yeah, Steve, <laughs> Stephen Walker in the chat says, Osmus, huge favorite now, best player at the table with double second in chips. I mean... That's right. I mean, don't sleep on Helmuth and Lonis. I mean, he's still got plenty line. of chips in their stacks. Yeah. 41 big blinds for Helmuth, 30 yeah. for Jesse yeah. Lonis. I feel like 41 big blinds for Helmuth is like Two 85 big blinds for everyone else. Yeah. He, I was going to say 140. Really big, really <laughs> I mean, really just seriously. Just Helmuth <laughs> chips are hard to come by. <laughs> you know, once he has them, <laughs> he protects them with his life. That's the only way you'll catch me playing. Oh, Lee, a little side fold there. <laughs> I think just uh, looking to pick up a hand. Can't get his chips in. But Sub 10 big blinds. Speaking of Lee, by the way, he's wearing that PGT hat. Are those player exclusive or are those in the shop? I believe they're in the shop. There we go. Shop.pokergo.com. We also have Helmuth Mania shirts, which you're wearing. I'm wearing my Helmuth Mania I shirt right You're now. wearing it. Yep. If you guys want to see the shirt I'm wearing, check it out on Twitter. He's take At the Remco Rinkum is my Twitter handle. I'm, I'm wearing a Helmuth Mania t shirt. Make them straight no limit. I guess, it, straight no limit I guess it makes the no limit build better. I, I like it, but because they're doing two PLO series a year now. Here's a look at the Jesse Lonas career highlights. His first cash did not come until 2018, which is kind of hard to fathom given how much of a staple he is right now on the high roller circuit. In 2021, January, his first seven figure, six figure score and his largest cash ever this year at the PCA, $367,000. Four wins, 124 caches. Jesse Lonis is here to stay. Good thing is that Beard was not here to stay. <laughs> Looks much better with a clean shaven face. Yeah, since 2018, that first cash that you mentioned, he's, what he's up over 2.7 million in Pacal earnings, moment. according to the Hendon mob. Wow. Terrific work. Action on Austin is at 8-6 of hearts. <coughs> yeah, I'm just going to put the question out to the chat because we've seen so much discussion about this already. Are you here for the Helmuth win or Helmuth rage? <laughs> Pick a side. Pick a side. Like, don't even, don't even, even give me both. Pick a side. What do you want? You is, want it, is there ever a Helmuth rage win? Is that like in the cards somewhere? He'll probably be angry about <laughs> the way that his <laughs> opponent played. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. Oh, you gotta walk after all that. Yeah, I should have felt. I should have raised. That was a tight pull. Wow, lots of people rooting for the win. You know, Great to see. I, I thought you were weak. I could even make a tight fold. I thought fold you were going to. I could make a tight fold in a moment like this. It'd be good this. for him to get a win inside the studio finally. It'd be good to get a win in 2023. A PGT. Yeah, he's obviously won some nice things. Don't even the big. What else do you want? You get to hear him. If you beat Phil in the pot, you get to hear him be like, fucking Jeremy. <laughs> I think any win for Philomit outside of the WSOP I'll give you that, Phil. is just generally a good thing. The fact that, that like, he does when people play win, against you, know? like Absolutely. me personally, if it's your big blind, I'm raising light because I just want to hear you bitch at me. It's like kind of funny. I get like a <laughs> kick out of it. Oh, you, probably get a, you probably get a lot of action from that. I was going to say he's probably aware of that. Yeah, yeah you get a lot of good action from that for sure. <laughs> I'm coming in raising, Phil. You should have saw it. Send, send the drink girl up here. You should have yeah. saw what I was tanking with this last hand. I want to raise you up so bad. Wolf with a spot here. He's 10 suited. Wolf has oh, taken into consideration that Alan Lee is still a bit shorter than him. Last hand. Oh, so I was like, God damn it. Why can't it be a little better? <laughs> also has to consider the position at which. Lonis is raising from under the gun. Likely the stronger portion of his range, but 
We see he has the old queen 10 off. <laughs> Helmuth with a quick call with pocket sevens from the small blind. Of course. And oh. now Lee finding king jack offsuit on just eight big blinds. I mean, could you see a flop here, really? I don't think it's the worst thing to just call here. Take a flop and go from there. Mur7 with the $5 donation for the coffee fund and a question. Are these PokerGo High Roller Series events open to anyone or invite only? Open to anyone with the funds to play. That's right. As long as you're allowed to play at Aria, you're allowed to play inside the studio. You can just walk right on in here with your cash and take a seat. We have a 15K PLO today. Tomorrow, I believe we have our first 15K No Limit Hold'em. And, and then the 25Ks. Two 25Ks. Yep. And a 50k. A little prepay on the time extensions from Lee. Yeah, just thinking about how he wants to approach this one here. I would call here if I'm Lee. If I'm in Lee's Agreed. spot, I only would also call. it's only about one, one and a bit big blind. King Jack can flop really well, but is not that great if you get snapped off when you sh when you shove. I mean, Lee started this hand with eight big blinds. He put one in for the big blind ante. He put one in for the big blind. So it's just over one big blind more to make the call, and he does. Yeah. <coughs> Lee having 325K back, 435K in the middle. I mean, Look at he the flops anything, right. he's, he's putting it in. Look at the equities. So <coughs> close before the flop between those three cards, or three hands. And now, of course, the seven's in the lead, but Helmy's not a guarantee to win this one. Lee missing about as bad as possible. <laughs> Does have backdoor spades. Backdoor straight drop. <coughs> Nine pairs the board on the turn. Helmut now must be feeling a lot more confident about his pocket sevens. 325. This should get it done from Helmut. Good from him. Picking up on this, trying to just shut it down right here. God knows how many overcards he's up against. Only about 80 more likes for our first giveaway. Just want to keep referencing that. burning another time extension here. Does lay it down. Alone is wow, with the quick fold. And jacks. I was a little worried. Sevens, right? I, I figured you had sevens. No, uh, I was thinking maybe you had fours. I was Good reach from Lee. I, I just felt yeah. like you had sevens right there. <laughs> yeah. Seven, eights. No, I didn't. You what? Thank you. I felt like you had sevens. wasn't sure if I wanted to shove or I have to call you. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. good. Thank you. I was going high, you boys were going low. Nice. Put in a glass. I had a bad feeling. And, um, a min cash had, at the I, series. I thought you had a like good hand there. I put you on Jack. A splash of cream? Yeah. And I'll have a little bit. You should have shoved. I could have. I put you on Jack, so I bet the turn okay. yeah. with my sevens. Yeah. <laughs> it's just um, so great. A possibility. If he shoves, I want to leave his own. Maybe you fold. Then I call. Maybe you call, though. Yeah. League on his own, Mr. Helmy. Lagonian here, Queen Jack suited. Pretty playable hand. RLS in the chat says, why did he show? He's still Helmy. Yeah. He does know. whatever he wants. I wouldn't show, that's for sure. Oganyan here with a real playable hand. Emperor Soft Turtle predicting Helmy to finish in third place. I wonder what you guys think with the current chip standings of third place finish. Mm. Rather interesting approach to this hand. Coming in with 600K. Wow. I mean, it works because no one has <laughs> anything, <laughs> but that could have easily backfired. Ace King. Ace King.
Yeah. That was a good turn for sevens, Phil. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good turn for sevens. Exactly. <coughs> Ah. At that point, I was only worried maybe he flopped a set, but yeah. Oh, but I get the number. Oh, yeah. baby. Time for the giveaway. I saw Sean D was at the gym this morning. Yep. I wonder how many times he's been to the gym. And he just won a tournament, so he gets to hit. He just won a tournament? He has chill money. I want to bet on him. I, I, don't I know mean, yeah, I, I, it seems like he can't do it, but I wouldn't bet against him. Either. Yeah, he has, like, money to get in shape now. He can just relax. I want to bet on um, him. He's had chill money. Yeah. If Phil Perkins is money. watching this. Money's never been a problem. Perkins! I want a I little slice. Me. A little I'll slice. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I'm sure you can find people to bet with. More money than us. Yeah? For sure. Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah. I don't know. He's like 10 million worth, you think? I don't know. I Here comes Lee with it. the shove, ace deuce offsuit. Interesting to listen to the okay, players at the table talk about the Sean right. Deep weight loss challenge. We'll do the giveaway after this hand. Let's see if Lee can win the blind hand. He does. All right. Even if he loses, it's going to be a great thing for him. You In know? case yeah. you're new to our streams. Sure. Yeah, exactly. It always works the same. I ask a question, yeah, you give the life. answer. Like I will pick a random submission for the win, but not before telling you all. Seems as though <laughs> there are some you 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 eight, YouTube streaming you issues. <laughs> you can still hear us. We are in the middle of an all-in situation here. So Lee has six outs like twice ten or jack or club? with his ace-queen suited. Let's see a queen. Jack of clubs <laughs> on the turn. <laughs> it's never easy. <laughs> like 17 it. outs now. Yeah, I know you like 17 it. outs well, this is a for Lee to double up. Can he hit one? <laughs> River card. It is the king of diamonds. He cannot hit one. Uh, Phil Helmy sends hey, Lee uh, to the rail. He played really well for two days. Thanks, man. And he won the PLO tournament. Yeah, and he won the PLO tournament. Yeah, won the PLO tournament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When he came in, I thought, wow, he just won the PLO tournament. He's yeah. probably going to win this one now. Good luck, yeah. Good luck, guys. Good luck, guys. You're lucky, Phil. I'd have had you cut. I had the ace nine. Good fold. Yeah, you, you were just big blind. Yeah, thank you, thank you. You know, you know, Nam. I might have three nope. bet Phil and then doubled up. Three bet me with Ace Nine. I might. All right, Phil, help me chips up nicely, up to 3.4 million as we are down to the final five. And good time to let you know that we're sending three annual subscribers to play in the PGT Championship Million Dollar Free Roll. Join now. Use promo code DreamSeed to save $20 on your annual Poker Go subscription, and we're doing three raffles this summer to send three lucky subscribers to Poker Go. Um, once again, it looks as though YouTube itself is having some issues right now with the chat. Oh, wow. I'm pretty sure. We're gonna do our giveaway as soon as possible. Oh, that makes sense. That really tough. Man, I have a lot of respect for for Nam. I think they're all then, good, really. And then yeah, good and then he, and then Tommy's the best PLO tournament PLO. player yeah. in the world based on results. If yeah, results he's, count. He's crushed, yeah. If results count. <laughs> <laughs> Ten seconds. If results at the World Series <laughs> of Smirks. Poker specifically yeah. count. Yeah. The main event braces count. They should. Something about it. Yeah, they all seem like really good. Players. Looks as though yeah. YouTube chat is back. For those complaining, we did not have an outage. YouTube definitely messing with things, but the giveaway is going to be there. People actually, we lost a lot of viewers. Let's wait for the, for them all to come back. We're still in the mix here. We don't want anyone to miss out on the giveaway. We'll give away something extra here for the inconvenience. He has a dip into his reserve. His reserve. I don't think YouTube chat crashing is something that we can fix. And our feet Paul, take 500 if you want. What a sick sweat, Jack of Club. Yeah. Oh, that was the card, wasn't it? No words. It's, it's extra weird. Because like, Looks like YouTube chat is back. Remco. Finally. Sorry, guys. Don't blame us, though. <laughs> Here's a look at the chip counts presented by Global Poker. Osmus is still in the lead. Helmuth in second place. Then Jesse Lonis, Aram Oganyan, and George Wolf still hanging around with just seven big blinds. 
looks as though the viewers are coming back. They want to see how Helmet is going to perform in this event. We'll do one giveaway now for an annual subscription. We'll do one later when all the people that we lost during this outage fell off. Very Blame frustrating today. stuff. First question for the giveaway. All you have to do is an answer the question in the chat. And I'm just going to, I'm, I'm going to project here. I'm going to pro project and predict that Helmut is going to win this tournament. What <laughs> cards do you think he's going to have when he wins this thing? Or maybe, maybe you're a non-believer. What cards is he going to bust with? You pick. Helmut win or lose. What is he going to have? What's going to be the final hand for Phil Helmut? Let us know in the chat. I'll pick a random winner among all the submissions to give you a free annual subscription. I'm all in. Oh, wow. What? What? Lonus, 175. Oganyan, all in for 550. Action yeah, folds around to Phil Helmuth. Wow. And he announced all in right away. Oganyan makes the call. Helmuth with the best hand here. Ace-King suited versus Ace-Queen off. How much is it? Wow. This is yeah, massive. Cool. Helmuth could take a big chip lead here. You guys are trying to... Almost 2.5 in yeah. the middle. Dude, I have Jesus. power for the universe. What do you mean, man? It's ace queen. How I'm much dead. How much is it? Nice hand. Nice hand. <laughs> just walk out the door. What a, what a huge spot here for Helmy you know, with TV the okay. suited ace king. Get everything off. Good luck. Not hitting a royal. Good luck, Phil. I jacked on a club. So no. <laughs> no, no royal. It's bad for me, though. No straight. Flop comes. King, 10, yeah, 4. Need a jack. All of a sudden, That's four big. outs for Oganyan, four jacks. He needs to hit one of them or he'll be eliminated yeah, from the tournament. Kind of we did see Lonis fold the jack of clubs, Hope having right. the jack ten of clubs. So, Turn card, nine of hearts. <laughs> Not getting backdoor spades, so jack and a jack only. Can Helmy grab the chip lead here? That is the big question. River card. The eight of clubs, and indeed, yeah. Phil Helmuth Paul, is our a, new tournament chip leader. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? He immediately yelled over to the tournament staff that he'll take a million in color-up <laughs> chips. Of I mean, just, just, just right, George? What's <laughs> unbelievable. The guy hasn't even gotten out of his for. seat, and Phil, Phil's already there, changing right? out his chips for a larger denomination. People bust. That's the best when you're the shorty. Oh, that's what I'm saying. What is what I'm eliminated. And George Wolf. Yeah, George Wolf just getting those money jumps, just nonstop. George Wolf also hasn't said a word yet. He's like, hey, I'm going to keep quiet in the corner here. Nah, yeah, hope yeah. no one notices that I'm still here. Yeah, just I'm just going to keep folding, no big deal. 48 grand. I think George Wolf <laughs> raised one time, and that's it. Thank you. Basically committed himself. I think it was the ace and a diamond. But other than that, he's chilling. We got four he's got six big lines, four players left. Uh -huh. Total chips, 11 million. Helmuth chip leader, 45% of the chips in play. Here's a look at the chip denominations. 5Ks, 25Ks, 100Ks are currently in play. Oganyan collected $70,000 for his fifth place finish. So Phil's got 5 million. How much? Correct, Jeremy. Is that correct, Phil? There's 11 million in play. You must have five. I have four. Two, three, four, yeah, yeah, looks right. Doesn't look like five million. Buying for this tournament it was ten thousand dollars. I think it's pretty close. Roughly, yeah, yeah. The last Rough of riding. the ten K events here at the USPO. Nice spin. This is a uh, going fast. Hey, so thanks far. for doing all the hard work. That's three, and that's two. All right, let Appreciate me pick a winner it. here for the giveaway. He says I have over five. I believe, believe George. Or whatever. It's very close. Oh, it's, it's like it's almost five. exactly five. 4.93. Six. After randomization, the winner of a free annual sub to Boca Go is Janice Thompson. Janice Thompson, congratulations. Send an email to social at pokergo.com. No, I got something to <laughs> Include a screenshot of you yeah, logged into your place, YouTube account. With like the jacks. And I will I sort it out I for you. I thought you were going to lift. But this time it was a little, uh, a little. I'm going to ladder up again. <laughs> Jacks were ahead. I thought I was about to ladder up for sure, actually. I don't blame you for moving it. Oh. Uh. 
Didn't want to be greedy. Didn't get it done with now. Oh, it's AD, right? Janice Thomas. Did I say Thompson? You did. Oh, my bad. But it's Janice Jan Thomas. Janice Thomas, <laughs> yes. Congrats, Janice. Well done. <coughs> As Remco said, send an email through social at pokergo.com, and he'll get you set up. All in. Just in time for oh. the World Series of Poker coming up <laughs> this looked. summer. I don't think he looked. I think he's playing dark. He's got a good feeling One about those hands. Uh, I hope he does. Wants to get me kind of things. <coughs> We got, I got a good hand. Ace Jack. I got Ace Queen suited. Oh, boy. Yeah. George Wolf here is all in. Ace, Queen of Diamonds. Issue <laughs> I like your chances. Up yeah. against Phil Hummie, Ace Jack off. For the first time, Hummie. We haven't seen a bad beat Not yet. flipping or in the lead. <laughs> Can he also do it from behind? <laughs> might be about that doing a little bit of the prepay. I don't care. Whatever happens, happens. Good Said, in case you win. You should care, because it might cost you a little money. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I have no control over it. What, what am I supposed to do? It's very true. 9 10 9 Ooh, right, on time. the flop Swap here. Helmuth with backdoor hearts, or of course, could hit a jack. I'll still take it. Also, a chop yeah. outs yeah. now. Keep them short. Keep them short. <laughs> Heart. Who cares? I don't think you really want Heart. a queen. Yeah, but who cares? Really? Turn card, oh a jack, and all of a sudden, Helmut grabs the lead. Wolf now down to 11 outs, or he'll be our next player to hit the rail. And we could be down to three handed already. If you hit a queen, you deserve it. Or eight. I think I deserve it no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Five of spades on the river yeah, is not the card George hey, Wolf was looking for. She played really well. Out in fourth place, oh, $88,000. Yeah. Helm is very gracious. Give you, Phil? I can't even it was the prepay, Remco. Oh, of course. Jesus. You do the prepay, you, yep. you know it's always coming there. back. Does it matter? I yeah, we should. Maybe I can go here. Or maybe. Uh, Three players remaining. Helm is with 5.6 million. Austin's with 3.8 and Lonis with 1.6 million. No problem either way. Phil Helm is in pole position to take this one down. Is that three if consecutive not, hands? I don't care. Did you bust them three hands right in a row? Go ahead. Yeah. Jeremy's looking at my cards. I'm wondering yeah. what the fuck is going on. Like I said, just three players remaining. 70 bigs for Helmuth. He is our commanding chip leader. We had some issues with the stream earlier. Please refresh if the chat is not working for you. It should all be back to normal. It seems as though YouTube had a little bit of an issue here and if you have audio issues I think refreshing might also take care of that issue. Appreciate everyone for tuning in. Well how about this? When we get to heads up play, we'll do another giveaway for an annual sub just to make Ooh, up for all this I like nonsense. It. I like it. Um, you will have to you will have to uh, be a subscriber to our YouTube channel to enter the chat. So please you know, get ahead of that and do that right now. I this remember. is the third. I don't make them that often, bro. <laughs> I don't play them that often. Is this the third? Third time, third final table? No, I think I made a few, maybe one or two more. Jeffrey Without Joseph, you can pick up a Helmy t shirt in the shop. Shop.pokergo.com. Three final tables on the U.S. Poker Open. 175. And like back to back to back or something. <laughs> but I had two seconds, I think. Two seconds? Second to Eric and Seidel, and yeah. Hmm. Come on. Well. Oh, actually, now he's got something. Fair. I'm bigger. Yeah, it does. Lonis with the short stack. This series Sitting on 22 big blinds. Yeah, Still plenty of series. chips they to are, work with. I mean, the listen, overall leaderboard is just makes it a fun I told thing. myself I'm going to play the Masters, right? Yeah. And I played two tournaments, and I just. You weren't failing it. I got tired, you know, and I, I had been traveling a lot. Yeah. And then I said I'm going to play all the mixed games, and then, uh, and then Mr. Beast came by our neighborhood, and I'm like, fuck, I got to go hang out with him. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Mr. Beast. Oh, we got some beans dropping. <laughs> beans all over the place. We got beans <laughs> dropping. Can someone pick the beans off the floor? Oh, somebody get him a spoon. Why, yeah. is he eating, why is he eating that with a fork? <laughs> but I told myself. Fingers, Come higher everywhere. hell water. I'm gonna play all the U.S. Open. I mean, it's a, it is easier US when poker you live open. here and stuff, Still. obviously too. Yeah. Yeah. For me, I'm spoiled. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. 
Awesome's raising it up on the button here. And we're going to try to be as quiet as we can be with Helmuth clearly becoming more talkative as this event goes on. I mean, 3-bet in here with the 10-3 off, Remco. I mean, is he going to win this tournament <laughs> or what? He's clearly feeling, feeling it. Feeling it. Absolutely feeling it. Osmus gives it up. Zoom, zoom. <laughs> zoom, zoom, as they say. Love to see it. Savitar, there will be another giveaway when we get to heads up play. So hang around yeah, until then. When you live here. Yeah. Remco will <coughs> fire another annual sub now they're doing, out to you guys they're out gonna there. They're going to be doing um, seven series a year. I was really looking forward to the mixed game series. And I'm just like, we got a great turnout. PLO is even better. A PLO really cool. I could never make, but I, but yeah. I, but I really wanted to be there. Well, I already I knew I had stuff planned, so I couldn't. I mean, some people flew, came from Europe, you know, and it's a whole series. People make a trip. <laughs> the studio, these tournaments are just like this. Everybody wants to play in the studio. Right now. It's great. It's awesome. Hopefully, hopefully it keeps going. Yep. So you have 1.25, Sober set says, Phil, how many needs his own food channel? Yes, Guy Fieri, if you're watching. You need to do a show with Phil Helmuth. Phil Helmuth and Guy Fieri, wouldn't that be, like, the best combination? Lonus, meanwhile, attacking from the small blind onto <coughs> Osmus's big blind. Moves all in to put Lonus at risk, and he surrenders. Should have limped. Right away. Or just folded. No. <laughs> Gonna add a king. Add a king. We've seen Helmuth eat oh, burgers man. and Sour Patch Wait, Kids yeah. and, and, and bean <laughs> salads. Wasn't great What's the Helmuth's worst <laughs> thing, the worst kind of food that he could be eating at the table? P people in the chat, please chime in. What's the worst food that Helmuth could be eating at the table? Maybe the funniest food or just the, the dumbest food? Um, a bean salad with a fork is probably way high on the list. 175. I mean, at least he's using a fork. I mean, when he eats the burgers, he's with his hands and he's touching the chips and the cards and, you know, all that sort of stuff. <laughs> Shout out to Sean Deeb eating a. Best one I had so far. Eating chicken oh, wings? Chicken wings with his hands yeah. at the table. Yeah. And then it resulted into a prop bet that's <laughs> now going <laughs> to pay for his kid's college, college tuition right. if he manages to pull it off. A king queen. A greasy burger. Yeah, we've seen that before. Huevos Rancheros. Sauerkraut. Ace king suited, aces. That's it. I mean, nachos are probably oh, yeah. the so worst. I've seen some so, you, so you three bet me a shit because I've seen the aces and the ace king. Who did I, where was the aces? Maybe I didn't see those. Barbecue uh, ribs, think the probably the winner. Maybe that was the uh, one that you Could have been. Call. Maybe ribs with sauce. You know, my, you know what I wanted. Might be the worst. <laughs> my hand. <laughs> you know, for as much as we tend to get on Helmuth from the community Seven for his bucks. style of play. I think he's played extremely well at this final table. He has been. <laughs> like, I mean, like, very not Phil Helmuth-like from what we were used to seeing. <clears throat> like, even here, just limping the small blind with the 10-7s who did. That's a hefty raise from Lonis from the big blind here. Helmuth lays it down. Plays it coy. Alan says, I sat next to Jamie Gold as he ate a Caesar salad, which looked like a pit bull licking a plate of mayo. Wow, that's quite a visual. And we think about it, doing the limp jam, Phil? <laughs> of course. Buying for this event was $10,000. The that three remaining one. players are guaranteed a nice little payout of $105,000. 149.6 for second and 211k for first. No, I was never limp jamming that hand. No. Oh, you were just going. I was just thinking about calling. Yeah. Just bonus. Raising it up with a6 offsuit. Also with a with a playable king eight suited. Jermaine Cass <laughs> donates five euros to the coffee fund and says, Sir Strumming, the worst thing he could eat. And I know. But what is th that? That's a, a, like a, it's like a can of rotten fish. Oh, my God. I think it's a Norwegian thing. 
Good Lord. Yeah. <laughs> that, 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 would, that would get you 86 from, from the property, like, right away. You open that up on set, Maybe. you're gone. <laughs> or you win the tournament just by default on the spot. Meanwhile, Osmus called from the big blind, and Lonis continues for 180K on an ace-high flop. Osmus does flop bottom pair. Oh, it's a Swedish thing, not a Norwegian thing. Ah, close enough. Close enough. Ooh. King on the turn disaster for Lonis as Osmus now with two pair. Three forty. Lonis continues with confidence, betting three hundred and forty K. I mean that bet is really committing Lonis to this pot. It's gonna be interesting to see how Jeremy both perceives it and then plays it from here. Yeah, if you're in Jeremy's spot here, do you just wanna you know get it in because Lonis seems committed and is heavily representing an ace, or do you want to give him a chance to, so to say, hang himself on the river in case his range is a little bit wider than just an ace? I think Jeremy's going to elect to just get this in here. All in. There he it does is. move all in. Lonus deciding for his tournament life. We can see that he only has 18% to win this hand. He's got so much invested. Yeah, trouble spot for him given how much he put in. <coughs> wow, this is tough. His hand here, only the six kicker. Probably not doing so well against the range of hands. Osmus is jamming the turn here. Oh, these are my time extensions? Right. Yeah. Yeah, those ones are yours. So. <coughs> Ryan Reese with the five dollar donation. WSB main event winner? <laughs> <laughs> Says no, different spelling for the last name. <laughs> he just saw the Dr. Pepper tasting stream. Can we get a Fanta flavors Fanta. Ne flavors next. Yeah, we probably can actually. Have you had Fanta? Yeah, I, I like the original flavor. I did not know they had other flavors. Like Coke keeps coming out with all these new weird flavors. <laughs> Is Lonis, is Lonis going to pull the trigger here? <laughs> These are the tricky spots you put yourselves in when you don't have the biggest stack to pot ratio to begin with. <coughs> he does have outs, though. I mean, you might not know which outs he has, but we can see that he does have some outs here. Lonis just tossing in the time bank strips. Very big decision here for his tournament life. think he's going to do? I think he's going to find a way to fold. I think that if he was going to call, he would have done it already. I think he is just confirming with himself that this is not the spot, that Osmus is not going to mess around here with a hand weaker than two pair. Two pair. Turn and there it is. Nice. Calls. Does make the call. Of course, I'm completely wrong. <laughs> Jesse Lonis with eight outs, or he'll be eliminated. So much for me trying to make reads. Ace a 10 or a 6. Or we are down to heads up play between Phil Helmuth and Jeremy Osmus. Lonus found himself in a tough spot, pulled the trigger, and now he is one card away from being out. And we're one card away from the giveaway. That's, of course, all you guys care about at home. River card. It is a six. Oh, boy. Jesse Lonus is not going anywhere. 
Wow. Jeremy Osmus takes a big hit and three-handed play continues. 1.24 tonight. Wow. Sometimes luck needs to be in your favor. And the six delivers for Jesse Lonis as Phil Helmuth like King time is the King quiet eight. onlooker. 1.215. One, two. Could have been down a heads up play, ladies and gentlemen. What a massive, massive pot. If you're just tuning in, we are three handed at the 2023 USPO. Two. When we get down to heads up, we're going to give away our annual subscription to Poker Go. No one sucked out yet, so Make sure you're, no. you're a YouTube no subscriber. I did? Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're streaming live daily here I mean, on YouTube. I, I got sucked and then I re sucked. <laughs> yeah. That's what happened. Yeah. I was, I was, I was like, King Pen or King A is going to fucking show me right now, but. Jeremy Osmus feeling a little nauseous after that one. Here are the chip counts presented by Global Poker. Helmuth in the lead with 69 big blinds. Jesse Lonis up to 42 big blinds. Osmus on 26. We got a real battle here. Make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell if you want to be in the know about when we go live next and for the next four days. We'll be live every day on here on the YouTube channel. 75. Alonis picks up sevens. Goes right back into action. Osmus with ace five suited in the small blind. Osmus might just put this in. I was going to say, this is a fighting <laughs> hand. We saw Darren Elias do it earlier against Osmus. That backfired horribly. Let's see if the ace five can do it all in. this time. He does move there all is. in for two million chips. <coughs> Phil Helmuth is just a spectator as Lonus and Osmus keep oh. butting heads. Lonus makes the call. Here we go again. Ace five versus sevens. Osmus now with the worst of it. What do you think, chat? Can Osmus be the one delivering the suck out right now? Or is Lonus going to be heads up with Phil Helmuth? What's going to happen here? I see some I people calling that. for diamonds. <laughs> it's five. It can win. It's 50-50. <laughs> and it lost earlier. So, yeah, it's 50-50, right? <laughs> Either win or lose. Exactly. 50-50 here. Let's see the flop. Seven of diamonds in the window. Oh, my Ace God. in the window for Jeremy Osmus. And all of a sudden, the tables turn again. Tell me easy go. Two Don't outs now me, man. Come on. for Lonus. <laughs> Lonus calling for the seven of seven diamonds. Helmuth folded it. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah. Helmuth had jack seven off, folded the seven of diamonds. So. Turn card, king of clubs. Just one seven in the deck remaining for Jesse Lonus. <laughs> let's, uh, let's just not even see the river. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably not going to come. Ace on the river. Jeremy Osmus uh, double, uh, doubles up, and we're back to square one <laughs> as Jesse yeah, Lonis is back to be in the short stack. 105. So I'm just break sitting one on the sidelines three. watching these two so go 15, at it, trading blows. Seven, eight, wow. Eight, eight, two, this has been an entertaining final table with tons of action. If you guys are enjoying it, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. It's been a lot of fun. And Helmuth has been as quiet as he's ever two, been. 2.15? Seems to be in the zone. Seems to be locked in and has not had to deal with any negativity so far. Edge your hand, Philly. Jesse Edge taking it in stride. Big smile there. It's a real oh, a great spot. Of course, a smile as yeah, well. Yeah, it was a good spot. It's real ramming and jamming final day, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't eat this at five. Let me see that. <laughs> Too many hands are dominant. Yeah, I didn't Lonus want back working on 15 I didn't want to think lines. long about it, though. I know what done you guys can see the swings there for Osmus to stack on your screen. Loss 1.7, then 1, 2.3. Back to back hand. Cadillac of poker, baby. See, Phil, you wouldn't have lost that pot. You would have hero folded free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking all the truth. Sure. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> you would have found a better spot. <laughs> Helmuth here in the small blind with ace five off. Decides to limp again against Lonus, who bullied him a little bit. You limp in a good hand? The last time this happened. <laughs> you trapping me? 
I have a million exactly, right? Yeah. Deuce, three, six, all clubs. Lonus picks up a flush draw. It's 130 with ace high. Ace high, the best hand. Lonus does have plenty of outs. Five working for a straight. He's got the club draw as well. His queen's live as well. What are you checking for? What's back? <laughs> <laughs> Nine high is no good. Checking to see if that five might be a ace club. High. It's not. Ace high is def definitely yeah. the best hand here. Beautiful. Yeah, I was calling you if you missed it. <laughs> free, yeah. free, free. Everything missed, right? I had a 5 2. You're straight, no good. Lonus down to 12 big, big blinds. Helmy sitting on 70 big blinds. Yeah, free, we're calling. Is this happening? Is it really happening? Meanwhile, what is for sure happening is event number 6, 15K PLO. I see Isaac Haxton in the mix. Seidel, Negranu, Jim Colopy, Ren Lin, Nacho Barbero. Ronald Kaiser is back. Dylan Wiseman, of course, PLO specialist. Producer Aiden is back as well. Looks like he's holding a coffee over there in the background. Back to the final table action we go. It's a million, basically. Yeah, one mil. Or wait, less than a mil now. Yeah, uh, I can't call this one. Come on, bro, you can call it. <laughs> this is <laughs> Jack six off. I don't think he's calling. Lonus back into shoving territory. <laughs> Seated between two giant stacks. One time I wanted to do that and just have like deuce three off. <laughs> like, you know, they're always going to expect an ace or a deuce with it. <laughs> just have deuce three off. No, just didn't believe you. Even yeah. look at your hand, I just didn't believe you. <laughs> Playing 40k, 80k with 80k big blind ante. Blinds will go up in just a little bit. All in. all in. Lonus again, all in. This time from the button with ace three offsuit. Osmus with nothing in the small. Helmy with a decision here. King Jack offsuit. Lonus all in for 14 bigs. Want to count? Yeah. One Lonus point one. Okay. Seemingly advertising that he wants to call. Call is made. Jesse Lonus all in and at risk. Phil Helmuth now the one trying to do the eliminating. Helmuth, of course, yeah. behind the ace three, but a lot worse oh. hands he could see. Very, this he's is very live here. Best case scenario, almost. And uh, oh, the prepay maybe. coming from Helmuth <laughs> again. Great at settling his debts. <laughs> I'm not he's like uh, prepay. He's got it all counted out every time. It's, it's impressive. Phil Helmuth <laughs> puts the money aside for Lonis just in case he has to fork it up. Well, Lonus, however, has to dodge three. quite a few cards. Here comes a flop. King in the window with the queen and a seven. Phil Helmuth now two streets away from being heads up for his first PGT title. Ace of spades. Give us a sweat. Lonus trying to keep it fun. Ace of spades, of course, would give Helmuth a flush draw while giving him the lead. Turn is a nine of diamonds. That doesn't change a thing. Lonus looking for one of the th remaining three aces in deck, or we will be down to heads up play. Things go quick at the end. Huh? No shit. Wow. Man, this is flying. What a roller coaster this final table has been. And Jesse Lonis, one card away from hitting the rail in third place. River card. It is the three of spades. Phil Helmuth is down to heads up play against Jeremy Ospis as Jesse Lonis hits the rail. Immediately, Helmuth calling for a color up. <laughs> this man is locked in. I don't care what you say. He is locked in for the win. Yep. That's what I knew that I was thinking. 105k for Jesse Probably Lonis. Jam a lot of kings. Great yeah. score for him. Yeah. Oh, wait, you don't get those, sir. We are heads up. It is right, boys, time for, here we go, a giveaway. It is time to have some fun. We got Helmuth versus yeah, yeah. Osmus, two uh, one, legends of the two, game, three, multiple bracelet winners. This is going to be fantastic. Eight. It already is fantastic. We're going on a very brief break after we look at these global poker chip counts. Action is going to be hot and heavy. 
it's going to be time for the giveaway as soon as Heads Up Play gets underway. Take your game to the next level with GTO Wizard, the number one app for poker players. Start crashing at gtowizard.com. All right, here we are back at the PokerGo studio. That was the world's shortest break. We are ready to get into action. 10K No Limit Hold'em event number five. Heads up between Phil Helmuth and Jeremy Osmus. The question is real simple in the chat. In order to enter the giveaway, make sure you're a subscriber to our YouTube channel to enter the giveaway, and then type in the chat who's going to win and what's going to be the winning cards. Give us your best prediction. Who's going to win and winning cards? Do it right now. My name is Rem Korinkama. Donnie Peters alongside me. You can follow us on Twitter at, as well, at Remco, R-E-M-K-O, Rinkama, and Donnie underscore Peters. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. 149K guaranteed for the remaining two players, 211K up top, and of course, tons of points as well in the race for the USBO overall title, 50K cash bonus, and that massive gold eagle trophy. The small one on, on the table is for today's winner. Just keep that in mind. <laughs> Osmond's awesome making his first cash of the series, so getting on the board there. Helmuth making his second, as you talked about earlier. This is going to be fun. This is going to be great. Yes. I'm expecting table talk as well. These guys know each other well. Have been in the spot before, Donnie, as yeah. you mentioned. Yeah. Back then it was a PLO event, a high roller at the WSOP. Osmus came out on top. Yeah, let's, let's see the if 25k PLO. Yeah, let's see if Helmuth can get his revenge. <coughs> You're not going to do any of that Apex Predator shit on me, are you? <laughs> I'm just going to try to play my best and see what happens. <laughs> oh, man. <coughs> Reasonable. <laughs> Love all the guesses in the chat. Keep them coming. <coughs> Both these players still very well, deep to start heads of play. Started with seven players today, but got down pretty quick overall. I'll check. In case you're just tuning in and you think, why is the chat going so wild? We're in the middle of a giveaway. Let us know who you think is going to win and with which cards I'll we're giving, giving away an annual subscription to one lucky winner. Osmus here with check. the check mark, four hearts check. on the board. Tell me two pair might pay off a small bet. It depends on the sizing. Very small bet indeed in relation to the blinds. Call. Donnie, Donnie predicted it right. Does make the call. Osmus will draw first blood here during this heads-up match in an attempt to close the gap a little more. Still 60-40 in favor of Helmut as far as the chip counts go. 60% that is. After this upcoming hand, I will announce the winner of the giveaway. This is your final chance to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and submit your guess in our chat. 7-8 offsuit, I think. Here's a look at the tournament update. We had 88 entries, two players remaining. Average big blinds, 68. This nice and deep. This is not a done deal by any means. Kings for Helmuth. All right. Hello. All right, now we're talking. Now we are talking. Osmus, of course, not with the type of hand that's going to cause himself massive damage unless the flop is in his favor to some extent. Helmut, of course, was hoping for a bit of a cooler here, perhaps a pocket pair of some kind. Queen 6-10, great flop for Helmut. But not great if he was hoping to make some extra money.
Come with the bet. Austin's with the fold. And we move on to the next hand. All right. Time to announce the winner of the giveaway. The winner of the giveaway is Iapesa Salapu. I hope I'm saying that right. Iapesa Salapu. Congratulations. You get a free annual subscription to PokerGo. Go. Send an email to yeah, social bracelet, at PokerGo.com. I know you have a fondness in your heart for the bracelets, but these are these eagle with ones are pretty sweet. With a screenshot of <laughs> you <laughs> logged into your Especially that one. Look at that thing. YouTube yeah. account. I had a shot last year on this. I finished 10th in the main event. I had to finish third. Oh, really? And I would have won the all around. Yeah. We'll look at our new sponsor in the background, GTO Wizard. Go check, check them out. Po GTO Wizard.com slash poker go. Try it out for free. <coughs> Take 10% off GTO Wizard by following the link. Check. Check. You win. R raggedy tens for both players. Osmos only has to reach. <laughs> and we tosses him into the muck. Look at that. More than 10,000 people watching right now. Love to see it. Everyone, of course, wondering if Helmy can close this one out. Donny, it's been a long time since I've seen Helmy this calm. He's been calm all final table. Likely oh. because he's winning all the hands that he plays. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, it's hard to be upset when things I mean, there go hasn't right. been any sort of hand that happened that would cause... I mean, not that it would cause a Phil Helmy blow up, but even cause him to kind of just start to boil a little bit, right? Like, everything has gone his way. His plays have worked. He's won the hands when he needed to, et cetera. $211,000 up top, Grant. A seven for Helmuth there on the turn, giving him the lead in this hand. Check. Check. Another seven is going to give Helmuth a lot of confidence to bet this river, despite the flush and straight possibilities out there. Maybe he can squeeze some money out of Osmos, who only has king high. Whoa. Wow. Osmus. What is happening? Taking Helmut. a stab, getting it done. Like getting it done <coughs> quick, too. Helmut doesn't even waste yep. any time. Follows his read and lays it down. Here's a look back, you know. Helmut. Oh, it was a 50K. 50K Not PLO. A 25K. Yeah, 50K PLO at the WSOP. Osmus versus Helmut. Wow, chat is losing their mind. Yeah, what do you guys think about that fold? Let us know. <coughs> Helmut I mean, does. He snap folded it. Was this a spot, Donnie, where Osmos should have shown to throw Helmuth off his game a little bit? Like, sh should you take an opportunity to show bluffs to Helmuth to get him a little bit upset? Yeah, I would think I would. I would try and get under Helmuth's skin, especially now, where he's clearly locked in, playing so well, hasn't been thrown off at all. So maybe try and throw him off. You know, normally if he is already thrown off, sometimes you you push him a little more. It can force him to lock in. Whereas this, I would kind of take that opposite approach. Yeah, because now Helmuth has moved on right away, giving Osmus clearly a ton of credit there. Yeah, he probably thinks he just had it. Yeah. Had a nine, had a flush, whatever, no big deal. Helmuth just waiting for the nuts. <laughs> A7 on the button, nice hand to raise with. Sometimes Helmut gets criticized over playing too passively. 
that hand, of course, falls in line with that criticism. At the same time, he does things sometimes that we cannot explain that all of a sudden work in his favor as the match goes on. Of course, his record on high stakes duel goes without saying. I think he's, he's nine and one at this point. Maybe nine and two. The chat lost once to Dewan, once to Kuhn. That's a good point. The chat pros are losing their minds, which is kind of funny to see. How many, how many total bracelets do we have in the chat, Donnie? You think? It's a good question. Talking about like friendship bracelets <laughs> or like <laughs> uh, silly, <laughs> silly bands. <laughs> Shout out Robert Croak. Shout out High Stakes Poker Season Seven. Shout out Norm McDonald. Oh, people are are uh, claiming all the bracelets that they've won. Osmus, meanwhile, raises it up with Queen Four suited. Yeah, this is a good opportunity for Osmus to check race here. King high poured with two little cards. Tell me if he's likely going to bet 100% of his range or close to it, being in position after raising pre-flop. Osmus not the worst candidate for a check raise either. He has queen four spades. There's one spade on board. There's a deuce and a five. So working on some backdoor draws here that could come in. It's funny. Helmut uses a time bank, is not folding right away. Clearly is picking up on something or at least not wanting to let go of this hand just yet. Well, two time banks here. This pot seems, you know, insignificant in relation to the value of those time bank chips, given that Helmut only has ace high, but still he's... Oh, he moves wow. all in. Phil Helmuth. <laughs> wow. Wow. Out of nowhere. Off the top rope. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Helmuth Mania is officially <laughs> live and underway. I can't wait for the chat to see I this. Did, in not in a million years would you have told me that he would have shoved there. I never, <laughs> ever thought he could pull that off. That is absolutely insane. Wow, here's a look back at our earlier eliminations today. Of course, Darren Lai's first player to go. Shoved ace five into the ace king of Jeremy Osmus. Then Alan Lee, our winner of the PLO event, busting out in sixth to Phil Helmuth when his hand could not hold up. Oganian ran ace queen into the ace king of Phil Helmuth. Mr. Helmuth, of course, has been on quite a tear at this final table. Wow, I'm still reeling. I, mean, I thought you might see, given how deep they are, you might see a, him put in a raise. You know, obviously we've seen the zoom, zoom stuff from Phil before. He like clicks it back, makes it like 800k, something like that. Maybe he even calls one street. You see Osmus continue, and he begrudgingly folds his a7. No, Phil Hallman just said, "This guy's messing around. I mean, F it." Like this comp go. this compilation of people just <laughs> handing their chips to Phil <laughs> Hallman. All it makes me think is that at some point Jeremy Osmus is going to be right there with those players, and after the hand we just saw. All we can do is have a lot of confidence in the man who is often referred to as the GOAT, the poker brat, the NASCAR champ, Caesar, Gandalf, <laughs> the army officer, the military officer, however you want to refer to him as. He's making it happen right now. Phil Helm is sitting on 6.9 million chips. Osmus on 40 big blinds, 4.1 million. Locked in is I Mr. Helm. Is it? You got four, right? I have um, nuts. I think about four. Yeah. Okay. Two, three point six. That is crazy. Yeah. He didn't even show it. He's locked in, man. He's locked <laughs> in. This is, a, this is a different fill. I feel like I don't recognize this guy. <coughs> Oh, I mean, that bluff was so cold <laughs> <laughs> that Jeremy Osmond has to put the jacket on. <laughs> if you're just tuning in, smash like and subscribe to the channel. Let's see if we can hit 1,500 likes on the All video right. today. That'd be awesome. Keep in mind, we are live on Thursday, on Friday, and on Saturday with more live streaming from the U.S. Poker Open. 
Tomorrow is going to be a 15k PLO, then a 15k no limit, and then two 25k no limit hold'em events. Lots of superstars in the mix already in the PLO. How many they're raising enough to put Osmos all in? That's a big shove. I mean, <laughs> that is yes. a really big shove. <laughs> wow. Forty bigs. I mean. I guess power poker from Mr. Helmuth Pow here? Power poker indeed. Wants that eagle. I think he's chasing his mm. 71st tournament victory ever. What? That's crazy. Of course, 16 of those are gold bracelets. Wow. You see it there? Zero of those wins have come on the Poker Go Tour, but Helmuth is, I mean, he's got one hand on the trophy as far as I'm concerned. Oh, absolutely. He's feeling it. He's got the chip lead, but still. Awesome is no slouch, of course. Six deuce here for Helmuth in the big blind. Gets to see a free flop versus Osmus. Check the flop. A little a bit of a different approach here, Helmuth. Or Osmus limping in position. Uh, dark check as well. <laughs> Osmus <laughs> flopping. Whoa. Let's take a step back here. We got top pair with the queen high flush draw versus a flop flush by Helmuth. We could see some legit fireworks right here, right now. Osmus does bet his hand. 100K is the bet. I mean, top pair, queen, high flush draw is just, it's a powerhouse. Heads up. We obviously see that Osmus is well behind. Wow. Massive spot here for Helmut. Is he going to just smooth call? Is he going to raise right away? I feel like he likes to take these, just, you know, the smooth calls. Five hundred K. Okay, raising it up, giving Osmus the option, the possibility to stick it in here. Well, Osmus is still pretty deep. I mean, Donnie, I just want to see it all in. Yeah, I know, but he's got thirty-eight, almost thirty-nine big blinds behind. I mean, I want to see the madness. <coughs> got a five-dollar donation here. From Mike C says, if Phil wins, he'll wear the trophy around his neck with a massive gold chain. <laughs> I mean, I hope he does. That'd be fantastic. That would be fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think is going to happen? Is Osmus just going to go for it here? Top pair and a flush draw? Or is he going to give Helmuth credit for an even stronger hand and maybe play it a little bit more careful? Massive decision right now for Jeremy Osmus. Of course, he could potentially be up against Helmut raising with. He could also just re-raise a bigger club. Yeah, there it is. He does re-raise. I mean, now let's see how Phil wants to play this. I mean, if Phil does jam this, is he turning his hand face up and allowing Jeremy to get away from it? Would Helmut <laughs> shove here with a naked ace of clubs, king of or king of clubs? That is something that Osmus would have to ask himself if it comes down to this. I mean, that just depends how much zoom, zoom All he puts home. All in. There it is. All in declared. <sighs> okay. Oh, okay. Wow. 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 <laughs> this could be all over in a matter of seconds as Jeremy Osmus has flush, six yeah. outs. Fewer outs Damn. because Helmuth, of course, has the straight flush draw. 27% though, so not totally out of it. Running full house options as well available for Osmus. But Phil Helmuth here on the brink of winning his first PGT event and Three taking home seven that seven gold eight. eagle. 3.975, Phil. 3.9? Going to get the prepay? Are we getting the prepay? <laughs> <laughs> I think we are. I think we the are. The chips are out in front of him. Oh, my God. What a massive spot right here. Let's see the turn card. It is the oh, three of clubs. Oh, it is all wow. over. Oh, 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 Straight baby. flush <laughs> for <laughs> Phil Helmuth. <laughs> what a way to end this. Wow. Oh, my God. Good, 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 good <laughs> <battle>. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Great, by the way, for two days. So. You, too, bud. Thank yeah. you. you Thank called you. it at the beginning. This is Phil PLO. Helmuth's day. When he came out, he flopped the straight right away with that 6-4 diamonds. Here, six wow. deuce of clubs. Turns Osmus dead with a straight flush. Oh, my God. What did we just witness? Jeremy Osmus stunned Phil Helmuth. Of course, ecstatic with his win. 211K for him. A little fist bump there at the end.
Here's a look at the final results presented by Global Poker. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Phil Helmuth in the chat. What an unbelievable display by the champ. 16-time WSOP bracelet winner now adds a PGT win to his incredible resume and immediately becomes a contender for the overall U.S. Poker Open crown, which will only motivate him more. There he is. All he needs is a gold chain to hang this thing around his neck. His 71st live tournament win. That is extremely impressive. Helmut now sixth on the overall standings. Please come back tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific time, 4 p.m. Eastern for more from Las Vegas, for more from the U.S. Poker Open. Helmut and Negreanu might be in the mix again. This was an honor and a pleasure. It was a fantastic final table. Thanks so much for watching. On your way out, please smash like, subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you tomorrow.